Look at Shapiro, you make me sick You don't like freedom and look like a weirdo Pay for his attorney general bid But he thinks he's a hero We ain't been hurting nobody So why are you making him fearful? Fear mongering, all posturing Meant for dividing and conquering Wonder who sponsors him Mr. Frisk inserts, I'm vomiting Mind boggling, it's false marketing Want the constitution toppling But they wrong again We just want freedom like soccer was blossoming Liberty. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a radio on your 4th generation 4 tours So the years would be from 2000 to 2007 but depending on the year, the dash kit will vary, but the installing process will be completely the same. So on my current vehicle, it is a 2004 Ford Taurus SEL. So the dash kit I had to get was this one because my particular car has the digital reading for your, uh, your heater and AC controls and stuff like that. So it's all digital. So I had to get the 995719 digital dash kit. If you do, if you have this dash kit, you cannot go with the rotary style dash kit. That's cheaper. And if you have the rotary style dash kit, you cannot get the digital one. It doesn't work uh, both ways, if that makes sense. Open up the box and see what's the contents in it. So we have the actual dash kit right here. It is a it is a single DIN, double DIN, universal. So if you want to have a double DIN kit, all you would have to do is just uh, cut that little piece off right there. And here is your power wire. Now the thing about this particular dash kit, on uh, I was doing a little bit of research, and on the older dash kits, the older models where this airbag plug is you're gonna have to uh put it in the the plug in yourself so it would just be a dangling wire so like here's an older dash kit right here and you see how the wires are just hanging you're gonna have to do that manually by yourself So there's the dash kit with the power harnessed. And here is your little sleeve that goes under it if you have a single den. And then here is the harness itself that goes into the brain of the radio or the stock amplifier. I've heard people call it a brain, but it's essentially it's a stock amplifier. But that is it of the contents in the box and let's get to installing our new radio since I'm assuming you guys are putting in a new radio if you're watching this video so let's get to it later that day all right so the first thing you have to do is obviously disconnect your battery I usually disconnect the negative terminal and just leave it off to the side and then to get to the stock amplifier location, it'll be right here on the left-hand side behind the rear driver's side uh, wheel well for the rear. And the stock amp is right here. And um, it's this plug on the very far left side. And you just hook up your uh, new radio harness to it. And then you can take your antenna that goes right here take it out and put it into the new feed and then what we're gonna have to do is run this wire through the back seat so I'm gonna snake it through run it through right here this is the back seat I'm gonna run it down in here along this channel and then I'm gonna pop all these trim pieces off I'm gonna run it along under this trim under the carpet do the same right here pop this trim off pop this trim off snake it along run it up under this trim under the carpet and then it's going to come out somewhere right here in this area so i'm gonna have to find a nice location to where my foot won't hit it if i'm ever driving i might have to use some zip ties 
and it's going to go up behind here and there is the center console where the radio is going to go so essentially it's going to go right up in here and there is a big hole back here and you can just run it maybe you can tie some zip ties somewhere along here and just keep it nice and tight and yeah that's the only reason why these four tauruses get a bad rap for hooking up aftermarket radios because you you have to essentially deal with the um stock amplifier and on top of that the uh the dash kits cost upwards to almost three hundred dollars depending on if you have dependent if you have the digital the digital cluster and not the knob uh switch style cluster so you're going to be paying more if you have the digital one like this and note like i said before if you have the knob style ones you cannot get the digital style dash kit you have to get the knob style dash kit so to take out a ford radio you need to buy these clips or i've seen people actually use um coat hangers before so you just want to so they have these little claws you want to have the claws facing inwards so when you stick it in don't stick it in too far because they have a grabbing point to where you got to press outwards on them. So right there, I felt a little bit of tension. And then all you have to do is press outwards. And then boom, press outwards and pull out. And I don't know how good that was uh, on video. I had to grab my tripod with my teeth but yeah it's it's simple on the digital radios they have this little uh i forget what it's called it's like a temperature reader filter whatever the hell i don't know what it is uh it's i'm i'm no i'm butchering the correct name for it but you're gonna have to relocate it and you just take it out like that and you put it on here and with the metra 5719 dash kit it has a little uh, bracket that you attach it to and you can just relocate it to like down here or under here would be a good spot but I got my base knob there that would be a good spot but yeah you do have to relocate this um, and another thing is this bracket so you're gonna have to take this bracket off I believe it's a 10 mil and they there are two bolts up top and then one down down at the very bottom um i'm pretty sure you will be able to get away with it if you had a single den but i got a uh, a double den so it's not going to work just because i need more depth for the bigger uh double den size you're going to need these uh location tabs on the side of your old radio and you need to put it on the new dash kit so you're going to have to take these off reinstall it on the new dash kit if you do not have the digital cluster and you have the rotary style knobs for your uh ac unit and heater unit and stuff like that i was watching a previous video and the gentleman did have to take the knobs off and put it on the new dash kit so if you do have the rotary style knobs you will have to do that but on the digital ones you don't you just gotta relocate this uh air temp reader thingy my bob whatever the hell it is and then you might have to uh take away this bracket a few moments later okay so i'm gonna show you how to take these little tabs off and convert it to the new dash kit take this off and i'm using a t10 bit it's a little bit small uh for what the actual size is but I'm going to make it work because I do not feel like grabbing more tools. So I'm just put more pressure on it than I would compared to other stuff. Okay. Take that screw out and then just take this little bracket. So you just pull up on it and then it slides right out. <clears throat> And then on your 5719 dash kit, you want to put 
this piece right here, you want to sandwich it in between this this piece right here, you want to sandwich it in between this. So it's going to look like this. Boom. Get it lined up. And there will be uh, some little plastic notches that will grab the... There will be these little plastic notches that will grab the actual um, plate. And then just screw your screw down and... Voila. So I'm going to go ahead and get this knocked out. And this is the radio I'm going to be putting in it. It's a, it's a dual brand. I know you guys are going to be thinking, dual, why a dual? But they actually have came a long way compared to 5, 10 years ago. So this is a double den 10 inch tablet FM multimedia radio. I mean, look at that. That's badass. Android ready, uh, Apple CarPlay ready. And if you want to know the specs of it, the model number is a XDC PA11BT. So it's 11 inch Bluetooth radio, essentially. That's what it stands for. Manufactured August 2021. So it's uh, relatively new. I mean, what is it? It's june 1st 2022 so yeah it's gonna look real good but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and button everything up and uh fire up the radio uh, i still gotta actually wire up the radio itself i'm gonna go ahead and loom every single uh speaker channel so this will be loomed off separate this will be loomed off separate the speakers every single speaker set would be loomed off separate power wire would be loomed off separate yeah it just i'm very ocd when it comes to my car audio stuff so yeah so this video might be longer than what i'm expecting recording wise but it's not going to be long for you guys so in a snap of a finger we're going to be in a car and it'll be working all right so i got the radio finally hooked up i think it turned out pretty good um Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's any issues that I had to go through with this particular setup. Um, oh, the only thing that I still can't figure out is where to put this uh, air temperature sensor. I was going to put it right here, but I got my base knob right there, so I don't know if I'm going to mount it right here or slide it under the dash and make it come out right here somewhere so i don't know that's one thing i'm gonna have to figure out but everything works fine i did make a oopsie i had my power wire hooked up and my ground wire hooked up and i didn't put no tape or anything to protect it and you know just to mock it up to turn on the radio to make sure it worked and i turned on my car everything worked fine and then when I looked down at the wires, the power wire was touching the ground wire. So I blew a couple of fuses and come to find out that none of my doors would, would lock from my key fob and my dome lights didn't work. So I had to go through every single freaking fuse and make sure none of them was blown. I, blown, I blew two fuses. One was for the power lock uh, sol solenoids or whatever and then the other one is for the cigarette lighter so I got that issued cleared away but other than that everything works beautiful you know the thermostat works good it's blowing out cold air blowing out hot air everything works good the defrost works good and let's do a test of the radio. So I currently got my iPhone hooked up through the Apple CarPlay and I'm, I'm recording it off my Android phone just because my Android phone takes better videos. Let's see, let's go to maps and then we can do search. Where is the closest Meyer? The closest one I found is Meyer Gas Station on Sommel Road. Does that one sound good? Yes. Getting directions to Meyer Gas Station. 
Starting route to my, your gas I mean, look how fast that is. All right, so I'm not gonna play no music. I'm gonna just say artist, just so uh, my video don't get flagged. Play Drake. Drake now playing. Yeah, everything seems to be working pretty good. Uh, all the settings are working. Um, let's see here. I don't have my amps and stuff hooked up yet. But other than that, just giving you guys a rundown of how to hook up a radio in your 4th Gen 4 Taurus. So I hope this video was very educational. Um, I hope you guys get a lot of use out of it. And obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably hooking up a radio for a Mercury Sable or a uh, Fort Taurus. So I hope you guys like the video. And I believe that's it. So I'm out. Peace, everybody. Look at Shapiro. You make me sick. You don't like freedom and look like a weirdo Pay for his attorney general bid But he thinks he's a hero We ain't been hurting nobody So why are you making him fearful? Fear mongering, all posturing Meant for dividing and conquering Wonder who sponsors him Mr. Frisk inserts, I'm vomiting Mind boggling, it's false marketing Want the constitution toppling But they wrong again We just want freedom like soccer was blossoming